Hi, I am Sanjay Patel. In this video, we are going to learn some important results about kernel of homomorphism. Let us recall the meaning of kernel of homomorphism. If phi is a homomorphism from uh, saying uh, R to R dash, if phi is a homomorphism from R to R dash, is a homomorphism then the kernel of phi is denoted by the symbol k phi and is defined as set of all x belongs to r such that phi of x is equal to 0 dash and we also learned how to find kernel of a given homomorphism in our previous lecture let us start with the first result and very important one about uh, related to kernel of homomorphism let phi phi from r plus dot to r dash plus circle dot circle be a homomorphism be a homomorphism okay prove that prove that the kernel of phi the kernel of the homomorphism phi that is the set k phi is an ideal is an ideal of the Roman ring r the very very important result a kernel is always an ideal of the domain ring let us prove To prove that k phi is an ideal, we need to show the three things. It is non-empty and it satisfies the two conditions of the definition of ideal. So we know that we know that the kernel is given by the set of all x belongs to the domain such that phi of x is equal to zero dash. Where zero dash is the zero element of Domain. And we want to prove that this is an ideal. So first thing is uh, as phi of 0 is equal to 0 dash, we know that 0 belongs to the kernel phi and therefore the kernel is non-empty. The kernel is a non-empty set. Let us call this as result number 1. Now to prove that the kernel is a subgroup of the group R plus that is the domain ring with respect to addition, let us take two elements from the set K phi. So let us take x1 and x2 belongs to K phi be arbitrary. And what I want to prove is x1 minus x2 belongs to K phi because I want to show that K phi is a subgroup of the group R plus that is subgroup of R with respect to addition. So x1, x2 belongs to K phi means uh, by definition of the kernel we know that phi of x1 is equal to 0 dash and phi of x2 is equal to 0 dash. Okay. Now if you find uh, phi of x1 minus x2, if you find phi of x1 minus x2, then since phi is a homomorphism, we can write it as phi of x1 minus phi of x2, and which is equal to 0 dash minus 0 dash. So that is equal to 0 dash. And also note that as x1, x2 belongs to R, x1 minus x2 is also an element of R. Because if x1, x2 belongs to K phi, it means x1, x2 are elements of the domain ring because k phi is always subset of the domain ring which is R. So x1 minus x2 also belongs to R because R is R is a ring. So what I have proved is for this element x1 minus x2 phi of this thing is equal to 0 dash and hence I can say x1 minus x2 belongs to k phi. So thus we have proved that for every x1 and x2 
belongs to uh, this k5 this implies we have x1 minus x2 belongs to k5 so this is my result number 2 now what remains is uh, to show the condition of ideal the main condition number 2 in the definition of ideal so we have to take one element from the ring and one element from the given set so let us start with small r belongs to capital R the domain ring and one element x belongs to the set k5 which we wanted to prove as an ideal so these two are given now as uh, this x is an element of k5 we can write pi of x is equal to 0 dash okay by definition of the kernel kernel contains all those uh, elements at which the value of the function phi is 0 now this uh, r belongs to r and x also belongs to r because because uh, k phi is always subset of r so i can say that r into x or x into r both belong to r and for this element for this element if you find the value of the function phi that is phi of r into x that gives you phi of r dot circle phi of x because phi is a homomorphism so by definition of homomorphism you will get phi of r into x is equal to phi of r in dot circle phi of x and what is phi of r that we don't know so i will keep it as it is and dot circle phi of x is 0 dash it is from this fact okay so what i have proved here is this value is equal to 0 dash into something and this element is also in the ring r dash so final answer will be 0 dash because in a ring 0 dash into anything is 0 and this is equal to y into 0 dash for every y for every y belongs to r dash so this is your y and y into 0 dash is equal to 0 dash so thus phi of r into x is equal to 0 dash is proved which means the number r into x the element r into x is an element of the kernel that is rx belongs to k5 okay so what we have proved thus for every r belongs to capital r and for every x belong to the given set k5 which is a kernel implies r into x belongs to k5 and similarly similarly we can prove that we can prove that x into r also belongs to k5 so this is our result number 3 in the first result we have shown that k5 is non empty in the second result we have shown that x1 x2 belongs to k5 implies x1 minus x2 also belongs to k5 that means k5 is a subgroup of r with respect to plus and here we have proved the main condition for ideal and therefore the conclusion is k5 is an ideal of the ring r because of 1 2 and 3 okay Let us go to the next uh, very important and very easy theorem. So theorem number 2 say let phi from R to R dash be a homomorphism be a homomorphism okay then prove that Prove that phi is one one function or phi is a one one homomorphism if and only if the kernel of phi is nothing but the singleton zero. If you recall that we have proved a similar result about linear transformation in um, linear algebra that if a linear transformation t from u to v is given then t is 1 1 if and only if its null space is 0 
and you know what is the null space null space is also set of zeros of the linear transformation t so here phi the k phi is also a set of zeros of the homomorphism phi so all these are similar concepts and this is a very useful result about about uh, homomorphism so let us prove this there are two parts so first uh, we start uh, this way suppose suppose k phi is equal to singleton 0 and we want to prove that phi is one one function so we start with uh, n two elements let x1 and x2 belong to the domain r be such that be such that phi of x1 is equal to phi of x2 means suppose for any two elements x1 x2 we have phi of x1 is equal to phi of x2 is true that gives us phi of x1 minus phi of x2 is equal to this is zero but which zero we should write here it is zero of the codomain because phi of x1 and phi of x2 are elements of the codomain ring which is r dash and when the subtraction of the two elements is zero that will be the zero of the codomain ring and that is zero dash this we can write as phi of x1 minus x2 because phi is a homomorphism because phi is homomorphism homomorphism okay and uh, this means the last step means that the element x1 minus x2 this means x1 minus x2 belong to the kernel of phi but what is the kernel of phi the kernel of phi is singleton 0 so therefore we must have x1 minus x2 is equal to 0 and that gives us x1 is equal to x2 so what i have proved if phi of x1 is equal to phi of x2 is true then x1 must be equal to x2 so thus phi of x1 is equal to phi of x2 implies x1 is equal to x2 for all x1 and x2 in r so whenever this thing is true we are, will always get x1 is equal to x2 and that means phi is a one one mapping or a one one homomorphism now let us go the main part in this part we are given that the function phi is one one the function phi is one one and we want to prove we want to prove that the kernel of phi is singleton zero kernel of phi is singleton zero so i want to prove that these two sets are equal we started with the fact that zero always belongs to zero always belong to the kernel as zero belongs to k phi is always true i can say that singleton zero is subset of k phi correct so what i have proved here is rhs is obviously subset of lhs conversely let us start with any element x belong to the left hand side k phi be arbitrary that means x is in the kernel of phi and therefore i can write the value of the function phi at x as the zero element of the codomain that is zero dash phi of x is equal to zero dash now uh, phi of x is equal to zero dash i can rewrite as phi of zero because we know that phi of zero is always equal to zero dash if phi is a homomorphism and now using the hypothesis here phi of x1 is equal to phi of x2 implies x1 is equal to x2 because phi is one one function so an important step here we are using the one oneness of the function phi so since phi is one one we will get x equal to singleton i mean for x equal to 0 and therefore i can say that uh, this x belongs to the set single and zero i have started with uh, x belongs to k phi and i have proved that x belongs to single and zero so therefore this k phi 
the subset of singleton 0 is proved. And from 1 and 2, we can have the conclusion that k phi is equal to 0. So from 1 and 2, from 1 and 2, we get we get k phi is equal to singleton 0 and hence the theorem is proved. Hence the theorem is proved. What we have proved is phi is 1 1 if and only if its kernel is singleton 0. Okay, so for 1 1 function the kernel is always containing only the 0 element. Okay, and now the last uh, theorem about kernel of uh, homomorphism result number 3 that uh, a homomorphism which is uh, defined any homomorphism any homomorphism which is defined which is defined over a field over a field is either a zero mapping is either a zero mapping or a zero homomorphism or a zero function or or it is one one mapping or phi is rather let me not use the symbol phi or it is a one one function or it is one one mapping okay to understand this let us uh, first uh, formulate what is the meaning here any homomorphism which is defined over the field over a given field so let me start with say r plus dot be a field okay and r dash is any ring r dash plus circle dot circle be any ring and uh, let phi be a homomorphism from R to R dash. So in this sense we are saying that homomorphism is defined over the field R. The domain of the homomorphism is a field. That is important thing. What I want to show is uh, in this case the function phi is either a zero mapping that is a zero homomorphism or uh, it is a 1 1 mapping. To prove this, let us consider, consider the kernel of the homomorphism phi. So, consider the kernel, the kernel of phi, kernel of phi that is k phi which is equal to set of all x belongs to R such that such that phi of x is equal to 0 dash. Okay. So this is an important step. To prove the result, we are using the kernel of homomorphism. But we know that the kernel is always an ideal. Okay. We know that k phi is an ideal of the domain ring ideal of the domain ring which is R. Okay. K phi is an ideal of R. But R is a field. But R is a field that is given to us. And we know about ideals of field. And a field has no proper ideals. And a field has no proper ideals. Has no proper ideas. So, k phi is an ideal of R and R is a field and we know that uh, every field has no proper ideas means only ideals of the field are single and zero or the field itself. So, what we can write here is therefore, this ideal k phi of the field R is either singleton zero or k phi 
is equal to uh, say the whole field that is R. And as it has no proper ideal, the only two ideals possible are this. So if uh, if K phi is equal to singleton zero, then we know by the previous result that phi is one one map. Or a phi is a one one mapping. Okay. And if K phi is equal to R, then what happens? If K phi is equal to R, if K phi is equal to the whole set R, that is R is equal to set of all X belongs to R. Let me write D in a different way, not this way. If K phi is equal to R, that is K phi by definition of K phi, it is set of all X belongs to R such that phi of X is equal to zero dense. This is equal to R. That means, that means the value of the function phi at any X is zero for every X belongs to R because whatever X belongs to the domain ring R you choose, it is going to be uh, zero under the function phi. So that means phi is a zero homomorphism. Zero homomorphism. So the theorem is proved. Hence the theorem is proved. Okay. What I have proved is if a homomorphism is defined on a field, then there are only two possibilities for that homomorphism that it is either a zero homomorphism or it is always a one one mapping. So this, this is about uh, some uh, uh, interesting results related to kernel of homomorphism. So with this, we come to an end of this uh, lecture and in the next uh, video, we are going to discuss the most important result about uh, say homomorphism of rings and that is known as the fundamental theorem of homomorphism. So till then, goodbye and thank you.